Hi, my name is Daisy and I'm recording this message as a member of the Youth Cabinet who represent all young people across East Sussex. This section of the webinar is on equality and youth voice. So we'll look at what equality is and what it means to us as young people, some of the campaigns we're working on and hear a little bit more about the equality work and projects that are going on in Rother, Eastbourne, Wildon, Hastings and St Leonard's and Lewis. As young people, we are affected by the impact of ingrained inequality. Many young people in East Sussex have personally experienced some form of discrimination, whether it's about our gender, disability, mental health, sexual orientation, race, religion, or for our economic background. The more we learn and talk about it, the more understanding we gain of how damaging these experiences can be for us as a community and for our well-being as individuals. The past few years have seen a lot of interest in tackling these inequalities from young people. And part of the reason I put myself forward for election to the Youth Cabinet is because I feel that it is extremely important for people to feel safe in any environment, which is something that doesn't seem to happen at the moment. With the support of the East Sussex County Council Children's Services, other departments and organisations like Sussex Police and the NHS, the backing of the school I attend and with local support, I feel we are able to look closely at where we can highlight the importance of improving equality diversity and inclusion, and all personally get involved to make a difference. The Equality Act was introduced in 2010 to protect people's rights and encourage equal opportunities for everyone. Under this Act, people are not allowed to discriminate, harass or victimise anyone because of their protective characteristics, including age, disability, gender, race, religion or sexual orientation. Because of the Equality Act, the public bodies we work with need to consider three things. One, how they might eliminate discrimination and harassment. Two, to advance equal opportunities for all. And three, to foster good relations. Through the Youth Cabinet, we participate in shaping a future in which young people from all backgrounds can thrive and flourish. Youth Cabinet gives us a platform to set our own priorities and become part of a community we can share our voice and have agency in the way our services are run and designed. I'm Elsa, a former Youth Cabinet member, and since then I've been continuing to be involved in Youth Voice in East Sussex through the Inspect and Advise group as part of East Sussex Community Voice, the Youth PPI Cafe and Young Health Watch. I'm also here to speak as a member of my community here in Rother. The Youth Cabinet believe that one of the most important things that should be done is to ask people questions about our identities. Many young people are now used to this already. The Youth Cabinet understand that unless you ask us, young people, whether we are disabled or of a particular gender or part of the LGBTQ plus community and of what ethnic background we identify as and more, Unless you ask us those questions, how will you know if you are perhaps discriminating without even knowing you are doing this? How will you know if perhaps boys in a youth setting feel less able to express their feelings and might be excluded? How will you know if it is boys who might be afraid of speaking out about unhealthy relationships and want to ask for help? if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing the different genders? How would you know if a young person of mixed racial heritage feels they are being judged because of stereotypes and what their needs are if you don't analyse survey responses by comparing the different ethnicities? If you don't ask those equality monitoring questions, how would you know? As young people, we are becoming more and more used to people with different pronouns. It seems that you adults are catching up with us, but we still need to keep asking those questions. Hi, I'm Tom Neville, and I'm one of three Youth Cabinet members for East Sussex that lives in Eastbourne. I'm also a member of community here, and I take lead on the event of Car Free Eastbourne, which is a week to raise awareness of why we use a car especially on the 22nd of September, 
which is World Car Free Day. I wanted to share a few examples of what schools around the county have been doing to improve equality. Beacon Academy have worked to make their school LGBT inclusive by delivering whole school training, making sure there is an LGBT visibility within their curriculum, having inclusivity as a core to their school between staff and pupils, ensuring they celebrate diversity to re-ensure the work, creating a safe space for students in a diversity club. Clavram Community College in Battle used the Black Lives Matter movement to open discussion about race and diversity with their pupils. They asked the pupils if they were aware about the protests and if they knew what they were all about. They were asked if the school has a diversity club and if it did, would they be part of it? And what as a school should they do next to tackle diversity and equality? Willingdon Community School in Eastbourne held a drop down ethics day on protest with students being given the right to share their views on the school's social media channels. They posted artwork, poetry, quotes to get their feelings across, including around diversity and inclusion. The East Sussex Mental Health Support Team service have developed a forum for young people who want to help to shape their mental health provision in schools. So far, they have designed the branding of the service, including name, strapline and logo. The young people in the forum have also made recommendations about the referral process, welcome pack and other paperwork, and they will now be looking how to encourage more boys to access the service in schools. And within my own work in 2020, East Sussex young people voted tackle domestic violence as their top priority concern for the East Sussex Youth Cabinet to work on. The Youth Cabinet's role to gather their views and experiences of young people and work with decision makers to improve services. In line with the measures Ofsted have recommended following its reviews of guidance into experiences of sexual abuse in education, which include dedicating inset day time to help train staff on how to deal with sexual abuse and harassment by young pupils and how to deliver the government's new compulsory relationships sex and health education curriculum, RSHE. Youth Cabinet members have been working within the Children and Young People's Trust to design a survey for the students to share their examples in, of sexual abuse and harassment, which will be used by those in charge of local services to inform their work. We will then use the results to inform an, our continuing campaign on tackling domestic violence. And in particular, here I wanted to add an example of my own college, East Sussex College, who have been working on numerous events and campaigns to raise awareness, tackle d discrimination and encourage a sense of belonging. These include Blackout Weekend 2021 May. East Sussex College suspended all the use of social media accounts from 3pm on Friday the 30th until 11.59 on Monday the 3rd of May in the, a show of solidarity against racism. Thank you so much for listening and we hope this has shown you some great examples across the county of what work is being done to tackle discrimination.